Hello everybody, I'm Ian Gibson. It's Tuesday night, it's 9 p.m. Eastern. That means it's time for yet another Subpixel live stream. We've got quite an episode for you guys tonight. It's gonna be part two of our Sandbox No Man's Sky season seven extravaganza. Joining us, uh, new to the uh, Sandbox No Man's Sky, Kyle Bailey, how's it going? It's going good, I'm excited to get into this thing. Did you get through the two-hour tutorial? <laughs> <laughs> I got about 45 minutes into it. I just yeah. built my my base. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's... It, we were talking about it last time because Will had to go through it and then I had to go through it as well. It's it's long, but I appreciate how thorough it is. Yeah, it, it's very... It's somewhat repetitive and I keep forgetting stuff, so I'm kind of glad that it makes me do the same things over and over because there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of, like, a lot more menu management and system management than I thought and inventory stuff. So I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, joining us again is our resident No Man's Sky expert. Uh, I almost said sexpert. It almost happened. Uh, Same thing. <laughs> no Man's Sky sexpert. Uh, Jake Terrio, how's it going, buddy? I'm well. I thought you were going to start off and say, it's Tuesday night, it's 9 p.m., and that means it's time for the presidential debate. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm like half and half in terms of wanting to watch it and not wanting to watch it. You know, maybe I'll just watch the highlights, you know. I think I looked at our scream schedule, and I think it's all of them are on Tuesdays and Thursday nights, if I'm not mistaken, at 9 p.m. Eastern. So we're going to get all the uh, the undecided viewers. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. That's why we're here. Yep. Uh, you know what? Let's kick it over. Why we're here. Thank you for the transition, Kyle. That was a good one. Why we're here. No Man's Sky. I already talked about it. Uh, let's just let's just uh, quick recap of last episode. We started the game. We kind of started our first base, realized it was a bad choice of planet, started our second place. Um, kind of had some fun with that, kind of mucked around a little bit. I think this episode is going to be all about money. Uh, Jake, if I'm not mistaken, at the end of the last episode, you teased us and said you had a base set up on a planet full of wealthy, wealthy dinosaur bones. Is that right? I do. I have a base on a planet that you can come come dig up some ancient bones and sell them for a pretty penny. And so then we can spend that money. Let's do it. So uh, is that the planet you're currently on? Yes, I am on it. If you come down to me, you should see either an icon for me or for the base. Uh, Got it. You can just uh, pop on down. All right, heading towards you. All right, let's see. I think I see the icon for the base. Purple. Is it purple? It should be out out of the space station. It is on like the southwest hemisphere. Oh yeah, his of the his planet. His blue oh, person it, icon it. is covering it. I think. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. I can see your icons getting a little closer. Yeah, so Kyle, um, we went through it last time. What's your history slash experience with No Man's Sky? So I played it on my buddy's uh, PlayStation when it first came out for about two hours. And I was, like many other people, not super impressed. Um, it was, you know, less than what was promised and also not normally the type of game I'm into anyway. So I was sort of, you know, not, I, I wasn't super, super thrilled. But after getting back into it, even just this little bit, I mean, obviously they've they've worked over this thing quite a bit. Also, how do I land? E. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be going like low enough, slow enough. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. But yeah, you know, I'm. It, it looks good. It runs good on my on my PC. So I'm I'm fairly happy. Just starting. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely open to it. Yeah, it's been great to see all the progress they have made. I truly, truly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Um, so... Sorry, I'm just kicking off something in the, uh... The old refiner. Uh, Jake, you want to give us a little tour of your base here? Yes, my dog's yeah. decided he wants to join the stream, but I will do my best to guide y'all around. Let's do it. Ooh, you got you got a pretty face there, boy. Oh, thank you. It's like yeah, so it's I have this balcony area that I just built. Oh. You have hats. Okay, wait, hold still. I'm gonna go into to camera mode so we can properly appreciate so, this. 
We've you, got you um, the hats. bottom floor with wow hats what for you your eyes. To do? You have hats for your eyes. I love it. That's good. Um, okay, sorry. Okay. No, no, no. I have push to talk enabled, and so I'm trying to hold my controller and also the shift key on my computer. Oh. Um, we've got this bottom area. I just built that um, storage container. I have to refuel the biofuel reactor. So we've got we've got the portable refiner, we've got the little research station, we've got the terminus, mm -hmm. um, and that's all the equipment that I have built. I wanted to build more before y'all got here, but uh, we can help you I build could some. not manage it. But then we've got the, you can go up on the balcony to look out at the beach, or you can oh, go to this nice. other little terrace area I built over at this this rock over here. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I think I think maybe today we just help you build out your base a little bit, and we go hunting for some dinosaur bones and stuff. Let's do it. Okay. Sounds good to me. Oh, you see there's some wildlife wandering around the back of the base. Oh yeah, I, I saw. Them. I saw them. Hi. All right. So let me um, real quick. I'm upgrading my jetpack. I think I'm almost done. This is such a nice planet. Mine uh, has firestorms and is hazardous the entire time, and it's very annoying. Was I your... spawned on a blizzard planet, <laughs> and I found this one and said, I like this way more. Yeah, this is more my speed. It's uh, As the sun's going down, you'll get to see that all the plants are um, bioluminescent, and the grass oh. uh, glows in little patterns. Uh, very avatar. Yeah, it's very cool. You can sort of start to see it now. Okay, I gotta find some copper and stuff. Scanning stuff. The blood oceans are also a nice touch. <laughs> Always love those. Yeah, I love the tint of this planet. It's good stuff. This thing's wings are way too small to be supporting it, and I love it. I can offer it food. Oh, the little <laughs> flying guys? Yes. Yeah, it's like they're the messed up. A flying goblin with gills or something? I don't know. Oh, this is very nice. Gotta find some copper. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's far. So there's no... If you look in your analysis <laughs> visor... Well, well please. <laughs> If you look in your analysis visor, you'll be able to see uh, if there are any bones around. It will be like the little icon for a buried technology module, but mm -hmm. yellow. Um, oh. I don't believe there's any oh. here. We may have to fly a little ways away to find them, unless unless they're not synced to um, each of us. Like, if you guys can see them, I can't see any right now, but maybe you guys can. I, um, I see a natural burial site. I don't think I can. That's it. Is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know if what? I, I do tag, see one. If you I tag this, we we'll to it. Uh, yeah. We should be able to. We it's over that. there. Okay. I just tagged it. Yep. Oh, I see it. This yeah. is a bit far. Um, oh. But you need the terrain manipulator to get to them. Have you? Did, I, I forget I if you're at that. the point of the I, tutorial. I okay. just got that. I would mine some copper or whatever. Manipulated some copper. How much uh, doll hairs does that get us? Uh, it depends on the bones. They're different ones. If you get rare ones, they can be like 500,000 to a million each. And the wow. uncommon ones are a, a couple hundred thousand. Wow. Wowzers. Jake, I'm curious, have you played it all since we played on uh, Saturday night? Um, just a little bit on Sunday afternoon, just to build out the base a little, but not not anything. Yet. Yeah, same here. I played a little bit. I think it was just kind of a carryover from the stream in a way. Like I woke up and I was like, oh, let me play some. But I haven't really played much since. Okay, let me head back to the base. Okay. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay. Was not expecting that. Uh oh. Did you fall into that hole I just I, went over? I did. I 
very much did. Okay, so... Oh. Found it! Ancient bones! Rare item found. Approximately 852 years old. Oof, that's not that oh, old. Oh yeah, they come with lore, too. There's some more over here, actually. I'll leave uh, this one for you, Ian. Ah, uh, okay. Got it. I'll, I'll come over eventually. Sweet. So, uh, Jake, what's what's the easiest way to to look for these things? Like, as you're flying around, can you spot them? Um, I don't think you can see them from the air. There's no like visible. There's not like a marker on the on the terrain that indicates that it's there. I think you can only view them with the analysis visor. But essentially, I, I've not found any trouble just like flying around for a bit, land, and look around, and you can usually see two or three of the sites within uh, mm -hmm. walking distance. Gotcha. Sounds easy enough. Okay, I'm almost there. I just really want to upgrade my jetpack because I use it so much. Yeah, same here. Uh, and then Jake, you said something about a freighter that you may be able to purchase, is that right? No, if you, um, what they just added in the update before this one, in the desolation update, you could go find, um, derelict freighters out in space and raid them for for resources, money, and, and uh, like upgrade items and things. But Got to it. buy the coordinates to go find a derelict freighter, those are 5 million credits. And I've got 3.1. Um, and I'm willing to spend wow. all that to get us to a derelict freighter if I can get 2 million worth of bones in the next hour or so. Um, this is probably an easily answerable question. My life support's not doing too hot. I'm at like 20%. How do I pump that up? Uh, uh, oxygen, if you have oxygen, and then you have to recharge it manually. Yeah, so to, to manually recharge it, you just hit X, and then you press the click, and then you'll see uh, like the three items you can recharge there. Okay. That's the easiest way to quick recharge. Okay, boys, I'm coming for you. Oh, I'm swimming fast. Oh, you guys flew. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, we, we flew. I was flying back to see if I could get a shot of you in the air, but now I'm just looking at you in the water. I just get so oh. paranoid about the launch cost. I just hate having to recharge that. Uh, yeah, it's, this uh, animal is very angry at me. Are you getting attacked? Well, I'm standing on my ship and he's circling me like a... He's got a little red icon with a paw on it. So. Oh, yeah, he's mad at you. Let I me didn't do anything. I didn't shoot him. No, there's some that are just aggressive naturally yeah. and you have to avoid them. Your ship almost looks like an X-Wing. Thank like... you. This is the pre-order ship. Ooh. Ooh. Kyle, before you take off, let me go get those bones and then I want to stand on your ship when you take off. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's do it. Okay. Alright, let's see. Superheated rainstorm. Oh, that is the one kind of storm that this planet gets. Yeah. I got bone fragments. Dang, there's a lot of bones around here. Okay, 
Alright, heading back to the right. Getting steamy. Okay. Just let me know when you're on. I'm on. Let's do this. Alright. Oh, not enough fuel in launch thruster? What? <sighs> I, gotta, I wanna get another angle of it. Hold on, I'm coming to you. Okay. I gotta, I gotta build a cave real quick. Yeah. Oh no, I don't have any sword. Jake, you wanna come land and then we'll hop on yours? Uh, I'm a short walk away, if you wanna follow me. Okay, one second. I'm good to go. I'm you and your lifeless eye. Oh, no, I'm not good. I need uranium? To launch? Yeah, Starship launch fuel. Yeah, where are you? I don't... I don't see you anymore. I'm in my ship. Where is that? Is it this one? Am I walking in front of it? Or are you in a movie? Yes, this is mine. I'm inside. Okay, I see. I see it says. But your icon is not there. How about now? Oh, where's my cave? Wow, this really hurts. I know, and I, I'm, I'm out of my hazard protection, so. down here. Oh, I have my own cave. Oh, gosh. Just waiting for the storm to end. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to tunnel <laughs> to the nearest silicon. Or, uh, so. There we go. on my screen that your hazard protection is low. <laughs> I know. Alright. I think the storm's time ending. There we go. Much better. Okay, feeling a little better. Okay, so now let's do the takeoff thing. Yeah. Jake, where you at? Well, sorry, I just launched. I'm coming back. It's fine. I'm trying to get closer to you guys anyway. Ferrite right, should just come just from regular rocks and rock. stuff. You Ooh, can find it. You landed right on top of me. Oh, did I? <laughs> yep. Yeah. You see me? Oh yeah. Where's your wait? Where's your ship? Oh, it's it's over just to the right. It's oh fine. okay. I thought I had landed on your ship. <laughs> no. Okay, so. You want to be on my wing, or who's who's on whose wings? I'm on I'm on Kyle's ship. Yeah, so mine doesn't have any fuel to launch. That's okay. It, so oh, we I have to go you. on Jake's. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to get some, but it's a whole thing. Okay, I can see you on the nose of my ship. I will I will move to the left wing. Okay, I'm on the nose. Okay. Here we go. Let's do it. Three, two, one, ignition. 
Oh! No. <laughs> did one of you come with me? Because Ian did not. No, I, did I fell not. off. Okay. Ian just went, like, no clipped right through the nose of the ship. <laughs> it pretty no, much I, just pulled, pulled I went me up, up like 40 wheel. feet up, and then, and then it kicked me. Okay, I'm gonna swim back. I actually saw a building on the far shore of this lake, so I'm gonna fly to that. Um, and y'all can follow me if you wish. I am going to make some fuel here. Okay? Ah, this is good. A floating building. Oh, no, it just touched down on the ground. That's fine. Okay. Got the fuel. Um, there we go. I should probably oh, check this my is a fuel. building that we have to blast our way into. Knowing the issues we ran into last time with the Sentinels, I'm gonna say let's do that. <laughs> yeah, because I don't have weapons. I should make a weapon, but I don't have one. Okay, let's see. Okay, are we ready for some uh, bone adventures? <laughs> yeah, my I think my, it's weird I'm the host, but my game's being weird. I just flew to a different area to scout it, and I'm not, like, no icons are showing up. Uh, resource deposits or anything when I'm in my... I've, got, I've got them showing up for me, and I'm in the same area you are. I just landed mm. right next to you. Okay, I'll come join y'all. Like, there's some sodium over here, some O2. What are you looking for? I uh, just looking for the bone. bone. Yeah. Natural burial science. But I've got Buried nothing. Bones. Buried technology. Ow. Okay. So should I not land? Since you guys aren't finding anything? I, I would land a little bit further away from us. Okay, I'm gonna land on this like, mountain top up here. Yeah, do that. Yeah, I just don't know what's what's going on with my game. I have landed. I wonder if it will boot you if I quit back to mode select. I see some humming sacks, but I don't see any bones. And uh, Jake, I think the answer is yes. Okay, I won't. Do you do want that. maybe maybe come to a different area first, and then if it's still not working, then we okay. can do that. Hi. Right. Oh, there's a thingy over here. A... What is this? Knowledge stone. Daddy don't see um, no bones. That's for learning alien words. I don't even see my ship icon. I wandered away and... I don't know where my ship is. Um... My role as principal No Man's Sky apologist is <laughs> becoming harder. <laughs> <laughs> so no! I didn't do anything, freaking sentinels. Just 
just said they were coming to investigate and start shooting at me. Oh my god, is this mining laser? Oh, there's two spaceships flying over you guys. Three spaceships. Looks like somebody just landed near you. Yeah, re okay. They, well, they do those I'm... random landings now. I killed a sentinel and now there's reinforcements arriving in a second. Oh crap. You might want to take off and, and yeah. go land at the space station because we found that was like the only way to get rid of them. <laughs> Which I'm I'm also gonna try to do that just Woo. to see if I can get the planet to like reboot itself. Yeah. Okay, I'll hang out here. Oh, you got another storm coming. You know, maybe I'll go find a building. Hostile subspace scan. There's so many things going on right now. Yeah, something something is borked on my end because I don't I don't see the icon for the space station or or anything. I can see you two. Oh wait, there's the space station icon. I, I am getting up. torn up. What the heck? Okay, I'm taking shelter in an abandoned building. Oh, it's not abandoned. I found somebody. Gosh dang it. You are experiencing the loop that we were in. Yeah, <laughs> the last, the last stream. I got half a mil worth of bones. Dang. Yeah, if you guys want to come over to where I am. Um, let me do a scan. Oh, you know what? I've got one. I've got two. So if you come near me, I've got four. Five. I've got five bone sites. And you just tagged them? Well, I can only tag one at a time, but I just tagged one. Okay, I don't, I don't see it. Can you see any icons? I see Kyle's icon from before, and that's it. I can see it. Pretty sure. I'm very perplexed. Sentinels are still searching for me, apparently. You know, Jake, if you want to do the the shuffle, because that'll get rid of the sentinels, and then I think I'll just spawn back where I currently am, and hopefully that doesn't shuffle the bone placement too much. Okay. You want uh, for me to quit the menu and come back in? Uh, let me let me land next to Ian. Yeah, land next to me, and then leave your ship, because that will save it. Yep. Okay. And then and then Jake will let you know when you can when you can boot. Hi.
Oh, what? Okay, hold on. I gotta get into orbit so I can warp to you. Oh, that's weird. It says progress saved, but position not saved in multiplayer. That's annoying. It's crazy that it says that. Is it? Is there a way to put down like a? Oh, there is. Yeah, if you, I think it's save. There beacon? is a save point constructible icon that you can build. Yes. I don't remember what it's called though. Save beacon. Oh yeah, I see a prompt. Uh, metal plating, that's just 50 ferrite dust, I think. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna construct a save beacon, and Kyle's gonna come here, and then we'll reload game. Yeah, I just landed. Okay. Okay. And then let's Is just... it freaking raining again? Um. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like what happened with us and Ian last time, your storms are not showing up on my end. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, I just died. You get killed? I have no idea what happened. I just died. It says you got killed by a predator. There, I didn't see anything around me. Well, it spawned me right back where I landed. <laughs> Even That's though good. it says position not saved. That's good, because sometimes it will throw you on the other side of the planet. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm gonna construct the save beacon. I think I have everything I need. And then... I have saved it. Okay, uh, uh, Jake, if you want to, you know what, just to be safe, I'm going to leave. And Kyle, you may okay. want to do the same as well. Yeah, I think I'll do Apologies that. to chat yeah. if anyone's monitoring that. <laughs> oh, boy. And then, Jake, just let us know when you're up and running again. Okay, Kyle, are you are you staying or leaving? Uh, I will. I will leave. Okay. Okay, I'm out. Resetting. So, uh, what have you guys been playing lately, Kyle? You've been playing anything? Yeah, actually, uh. I never ever played uh, this game before, but I played the original game, Mirror's Edge. I never played Catalyst. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I've been meaning to play it, finally bought it, and just been having some fun. It's actually a lot better than I thought it would be. I mean, the story is utter trash, but yeah. the gameplay is fun. I could believe that. It, a lot of the reviews were pretty negative on it, but it seemed like they were expecting it to be as much of a surprise as the original. And mm. from what I could tell, it looked like it was just more of the original in a way. And it's like, mm. I can understand hitting on them for not 
not doing enough new creative stuff, but at the same time, that doesn't warrant a super negative review. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, I mean, it's open world, and the first one was extremely linear. Um, and but I'm okay a, with open world. You know, if it's yeah, well, it, yeah, well crafted. It's, yeah, it's really well thought out, and it's it's fun to traverse, which is the whole point of Mirror's yep. Edge. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's I'm having a good time with it. Yeah, that's, that's Ian, good And it hear. says I can join your lobby, but it's not, it's now it's not giving me an option to host my own. So I'm attempting to join your lobby, Jake, and it says it's connecting and then nothing happens. Yeah, I'll, I'll, huh. I'm trying this thing. Let me just totally reboot No Man's Sky. I, you know. Yeah, we got time. Um, yeah, that's, that's good to hear because I believe, I'm pretty sure Mirrors as Catalyst is part of EA Pass, which... Mm is now on November 10th going to be part of Game Pass. They announced yeah. the date today. So that's interesting to hear. You know, maybe I will give it a shot after November 10th because there's there's a lot of stuff in that in that EA Pass game library that's worth taking a crack at. For sure. Yeah, I think I got it pretty discounted on Steam. And, I mean, it looks great. The music's really nice. Mm -hmm. The world is interesting, and it's just, you know, just a good time. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that original game. Um, Same. Yeah, that's, you know, that's a good... I kind of forgot about Catalyst. I'll add that to my my list of open world games I should play eventually. Do it. Uh, anything else you've been playing? Um, let me actually take a look. It's between that. Uh, oh, I just beat Halo Three. I got to try uh, ODST on Master Chief Collection, and uh, Among Us. <laughs> just just here here and there with some friends is actually mm -hmm. you know, it's it's fun. It's, yeah, I, I think we've been talking about playing Among Us probably probably not on a single stream it will probably be mm -hmm. part of extra life um yeah i'm excited to try it i think i, I kind of poo-pooed it at first because there are a lot of mafia village type games and very few of them actually do it well let alone offer anything innovative mm -hmm. um secret hitler is probably the best iteration of that that i've played um and so among us i thought it was just like the same as the uh the jackbox mode which is not very good i didn't realize that it's more it's it, it looks like Space Station 13 as well, if you're familiar with that game. Uh, I've never played that, uh, but I mean, I, like I basically learned about it through memes, which I think is how a lot yeah. of people learned about it. And it's it's fun. I mean, it's it's fun to play with a group of friends in a Discord chat. It's it, it lives up to the hype as far as that's concerned. Yeah, yeah. It, seem, it seems like a good implementation of that basic game design. So I'm, I'm excited yeah. to play it. It's actually, this is maybe a weird thing to be proud of or happy about, but I was really happy that it was like a 17 megabyte install. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was just like a fun game I can sink some hours into that doesn't take up a quarter of my, you know, SSD space. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited to play that. Space Station 13 is one of those bonkers cult games that is mm -hmm. hard to get into, but... I tried to play it once or twice. It's pretty hard to get into. It's on like this really old, really wonky client. But yeah. reading the stories from it, just insane. And and it feels like Among Us is a cleaner, fresher take on that. So so that sounds exciting. Yeah. Um, Jake, progress update. Uh, I'm I'm flipping through the million stars on my way to hopefully get back on my planet. Oh, you know, this is a good good idea to bring up. Good point to bring up. Um, so the Xbox Series X prototype version, which which is basically the final version, but it's not the actual production version, according to Microsoft, is in the hands of several journalists. And the big thing they've been doing lately is playing backwards compatible Xbox One and Xbox 360 games. I'm on my games. planet surface. Okay, load it in. And uh, one of the things they've been doing is comparing load times. <laughs> and um, it's hilarious because a lot of the games like like Red Dead Redemption 2, they were seeing it go from like above two minutes down to like 30 seconds. They were seeing a lot of improvements wow. um, in addition to frame rate improvements, etc. But it was funny looking at the load times because No Man's Sky went from like went from like three minutes down to like two minutes, 15 seconds. It still had a way too long <laughs> load time, even on a super fast PCI Express 4.0 SSD that the next gen consoles have. I'm glad they, at the very least, allow you to move the camera around while you're flying through the stars. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's like true. Destiny. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm back where I where I left. Yeah, and same here. There's also a storm going yes. for me. So I got to let that go for a bit. 
Okay, I may be further away from Leo because I don't see a storm, but I do finally have icons and stuff showing up. Do you see I tagged a natural burial site? Do y'all see that? I'm uh, not gonna get out of my ship. I can turn. <laughs> you turn. Um. Well, while we're waiting for the storm to end, uh, Jake, any games you've been playing lately? Uh, I bought Hades, but have not had a chance to play it yet. Yeah, I feel. I saw a couple. I mean, I know, like most of the games media people I follow have been super into it, and even some of like the film Twitter folks that I follow are mm -hmm. super into it. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to try it. I I really want to try it, but I have so many gosh darn games going on right now that I just don't want to do it yet. You know. Um. I think I think when it goes, I don't want to say when it goes on sale, but when I have a nice lull, I'll I'll play it. I also this this is maybe a weird confession. I've always enjoyed like Supergiant's aesthetic and Supergiant's music. Anytime I see something of theirs come across my feed, but this will actually be the first Supergiant game that I've ever. Played. Oh wow! Yeah, I played a little so bit of Ash. Bastion's good. A lot of style. Uh, I, you know, I didn't really like Pyre that much. Uh, so when you guys are over, done over there, if you want to come towards me, there's three, there's four near me. Jake, you said you tagged one. Can you tag it again? Because uh, I can see you now I, right, right over top of you. I may not be able to, because once I arrived at it, it went away. Okay. Um. But if you just land right on oh, top wait, of no, it, I see it. I see it. All right, I just tagged it. Did you see that at all? Uh, I see Ian's tag. I see you, but no, I don't. I don't see your tag. Perhaps because I've already arrived at the site and and pillaged it, like the good archaeologist that I am. <laughs> I just stole them from you, so right. don't worry. I'll give them to you or whatever. I don't. I don't know if we can trade. I've never tried trading, but I'm gonna. You, I'm gonna head can back. Can you drop to stuff? Can you just I, drop items? I think you I can, but from what I've read, it's like a weird buried menu, and you have to be standing directly next to each other. I think on my own, I should be able to get enough currency from this to buy the derelict coordinates. Okay. Um, but we shall see. Ian, I'm heading to you. Okay. Same. Yeah, there's a bunch near me. Gotta head to orbit, it says you're 10 minutes away. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm heading to you or to your tag? Um, head to my tag. Okay. I'm coming in, do you see me? Well, actually, yeah. Kamikazeing the site. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not there. I gotta craft launch fuel real quick. I really hate launch fuel because there's yes. other fuel. There's hyperdrive fuel. Launch fuel just seems like a really crappy way for you to be like, nah, uh -uh, you still gotta go back to basic crafting every now and then. And it's like, no. Uh, no. Yeah, I wish there was an, like, you could buy an upgrade module that it's like a mini, you know, reactor or something that never ran out of launch fuel. Yeah, that would be great. Daddy built some launch fuel. Okay. And then... All right, I've got almost a million worth of bones right now. Um, so one or two more of these, and I should be able to get those coordinates. Critically damaged. 
And then... I think if we head back towards... The... Bay... Yeah, I see there's one of about 600 steps. Yeah, if you want to tag it. Oh yeah, there's a bunch over there. Perfect. Alright, one sec, I have to go kill a spider. In, in the real game, life. or...? In real life. <laughs> IRL. Got it. I am back. Get that spider? I did, I smushed it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go hop around, just grab some bones. Oh no, these bones, they take up a slot each? Yes, that is the only drawback. They don't stack. Jesus. Um, Jake, do you have a research computer at your base? Yes. Do you have stuff that you want to spend there? Yeah, because... To, to free up some slots? Exactly. Although I just realized I could probably throw some stuff in. Yeah, if, if presented with the choice between, like, a six-figure haul from a bone and a bunch of carbon, I will just delete the carbon. Yeah. Okay, I've got, like, 1.4 mil worth of bones right now. But I want more! keep hitting the E button on accident because I like think that's the roll and then it just lands me. I, I think I might have enough. I'm gonna fly to the station and, and sell these off and then I'll head back down. Okay. Attracted the attention of the authorities. Now. I'm just shooting rocks. It's literally all I'm doing. And the sentinels are like, no, no, no. But they have no problem with us digging up and yes. desecrating the planet. Based station.
jetpack power surge detected. Okay, I need 300,000 more, and then I can buy this thing. I'm heading back down. Okay. What do you think is going on in the debates right now? What do you think is the spiciest meme from the debate so far? Uh... I can't even predict such a thing. It's I, like, it yeah. could be anything. I'm going to say it's Donald exactly. Trump exaggerating <laughs> drinking from a glass of water with one hand, which he has done before. <laughs> oh, he, does, he does like that. <laughs> Some to prove a point. Yeah. He's going to have his pinky out. Wasn't it, wasn't it like some some rally where a bunch of like, and this is not a political statement, just stupid liberal pundits were just like, look, he can't even hold the glass of water right. He has to use two hands. And then from that point onward, he just tries to drink it with one hand in an exaggerated fashion. It's like, look it, at what you idiots did. Yeah. And like walking down that ramp and yeah. other stuff that like pick on him for things of substance. Otherwise, yes. he's just going to make a mockery of it. Yeah. And then and then play to his base properly because of that. Be like, look, they're making fun of me because they're idiots. And it's like. All right, let's see. What do I got? What do I got my knee. I always get terrified that when you're like doing your your pulse engine thing, that um, asteroids just don't mean anything, but it's still terrifying. <laughs> it is still scary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Han Solo talks about what does he say? It's not like dusting crops. You can fly through a star or fly through the sun or supernova. Guys, oh, I, have no. a, I have a fugitive starship for 200,000 units. Who wants to come help me with it? Fugitive oh, starship? I'm, I'm digging I'm up bones, but if you're still there in like three minutes, I'll head up to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm heading for it. If I can figure out which of my many icons it is. Oh, I found it. Oh my gosh, freaking storm. Alright. I'm in the it's, air. It's storm season, you have to come back in. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. I thought, I thought we were supposed to be escaping from Florida, Jake. I, you know, if America could find a way to do that, I, I think we'd all be better off for it. <laughs> We just, we just actually, we just uh, went into oh, no. phase three of Florida reopening. Do you know what that means? Isn't that restaurants full capacity or something? It means everything is open and you, you have to open at a minimum of 50% capacity. You can't stay closed. Oh my God, You're that's not allowed. so stupid. The government says you keep the the Florida state government says you cannot close. You must be open. I got my space pirates. Let me tell you what, Ian. I cannot find you for the life of me. Yeah, it's it's hard. They just make it so hard to navigate to the icons. It's kind of weird. Yeah. All right. Finally found you. Uh, I already killed him. <laughs> well, you're still getting the starship though, right? No, I mean I already killed it. It was it was like a pirate that I had to kill. Were you on the ground or were you in? I was it in. Says you... I, I was in space. Okay, it said you were on the ground. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to space station. Um, yeah, because that's one of the games I've been playing lately is Elite Dangerous and. They do some pretty interesting stuff with the compass and how they display icons that makes it super easy. So for example, they have this little, they call it a nav ball, 
and basically whatever object you are locked to, be it like a destination or a ship or whatever, is a blue dot on that nav ball. And then if it's if it's in front of you, it's solid. If it's behind you, then it's just a circle with an empty center. And for some reason, that nav ball, as simplistic as it is, makes it so easy to be like, oh, okay, yeah, I just need to go up 45 degrees and to the right 20 degrees. And it makes it so easy to find things in space. Um, and there's something in this game that doesn't make it easy. When was the first Elite? It was like the 80s, wasn't it? It may have been the 80s. Yeah, it's it's an old, old series. One of the first 3D games. Let's go sell my bones. Gotta sell some raw steak. Uh, so this stuff that you can process in a nutrient processor to generate edible products, is that worth keeping for that process or should I just sell it right now? Um, I think that matters if you want to feed animals for the purpose of harvesting their poop and or riding them. I do not. So let me just get rid of that. I do like the idea of at some point us all having rideable animals. But <laughs> yeah. We could save that for a later one. Alright, so I got about 700k for my bones. I. You know, I think I got. Sorry, I'm just selling off my little final stuff here. I'm gonna buy some life support gel just in case. Okay, so from that full adventure, I got about, I think I got about 1.8, 1.9 million. Got some good bones and stuff. Okay, I think I've got enough. I'm gonna head back to the station and see if I can buy those coordinates. Okay. Let me see if I can... We should stock up, though. Stock up on things that will um, uh, boost your life support longevity because there's so it's going to be no oxygen and stuff, so we'll have to keep recharging. What, what do you... What do you mean? Like, Th sodium, you oxygen... Yeah. No, I mean, I thought we were... I thought we were going to be in space the whole time. Yes. We'll have to keep... Oh, no, no, no. We we disembark from our ships into the derelict freighter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. So, oxygen and sodium, pretty much, right? Okay. I'm do some fairy dust just in case. Ooh, you know what? I'm just gonna get this. I wonder how much is life support gel. How much does like what percentage of it does that give you? Is it 100 percent, 50 percent per? 100 percent. 100 percent per. Daddy's buying ten of these. Ooh, I got another journey milestone accomplished. Okay, and then Daddy needs. I have only ever done the derelicts in creative mode, so I don't actually know, like, how much of everything we'll need, so I'm gonna overburden myself. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Same. Because, I mean, this stuff I'll use eventually anyways. Yeah, I got 10 support gels and 200 so I'm just recharging everything right now. Same. Uh, 
Okay, I believe I am ready. This is going to be in this system, right, Jake? Uh, it will be in this system. I think how it, how it works is you you queue up the coordinates, and then I have to go pulse drive out to decode them, and then it'll give us a, a waypoint that we can all jump to, I think. I'll have to double check. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, you know, just while we're waiting for a little bit, I'll talk about some of the games I've been playing. I mentioned Elite Dangerous. I've also been playing Super Mario 3D All-Stars, in particular Super Mario 64, which I've never sat down and legitimately played. I've always, like, played it at a friend's house or whatever, but this is the first time I've actually given it a shot. I think I've only played about an hour and a half, two hours of it. I think I've got, like, 10 or 11 stars. I'm enjoying it. I just I don't think I'm going to play it anymore, but it's surprising for being 24 years old how much of that game still holds up, you know, despite... The camera controls, the movement controls are still pretty good. The world design, it's 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 good stuff. Um, and then I started playing Super Mario Galaxy last night, which I've never played. And I, I am enjoying it, but I'm not super crazy about the planet, the planetoid idea, because it can be a little annoying. It makes the platforming more annoying, having to deal with platforming on a 3D surface. Um, especially when the camera is not locked behind you all the time. Not that it necessarily should be, but there's times where, like, you're heading down on the screen and you're getting the planets rotating weird underneath you and you need to make a jump and it's, like, hard to line up. But I'm still enjoying it. The scrap dealer is not letting me purchase items from them, which is a little weird. I don't know if maybe I don't have, like, the last system we were in, on stream, I was able to. Mm -hmm. I just didn't have the money. So I don't, I don't know what's going on here right now. Where? I don't know if I don't have a good enough standing with them. Let me go talk to him. Wait, is this the guy? Sorry, no, it's this, it's this guy over here, the scrap dealer. I was talking to that guy to see if somehow I couldn't buy from any of them. Uh, I mean, I have that option, but it's grayed out because I don't have money. Let me see if I can transfer money to you. Okay. Okay, so I believe it is. If we stand next to each other, and then we go to... Transfer items. All right, so I'm, uh, uh, yes, let me do. I'm going to give you, yeah. Okay, I gave you two gold nuggets. Okay, so, how do I, so how you, do I? You do? go to your inventory and then you just, on an item, you do X for transfer. And then you just, you'll get an option, and one of the options is my name near, my name but and underneath money. it says teleport. I'll give you over. units. I don't think, I don't see an option for that. Oh. That's what I was seeing, if you, if you could buy it. Uh, you know what? If one of you guys wants to Google that real quick. Yeah, one, one second. Ooh, uh. I mean, I guess we could go do... What's this guy got for multi-tool upgrades? Oh, this guy takes nanites. says we can't transfer units. Maybe I'll try to go do it in another system and come back here. So what is it showing for you? 
it says like the vendor gives you a nervous look and says he doesn't have anything for you hmm. which makes I... me think somehow it's related to my standing but I don't know what I would have done to affect that yeah maybe you've already um did you already purchase it from him no you can purchase more than one that's oh, over time waffle please okay do you already have a frigate no, it's it's Freighter, it's whatever. just navigation. It's like navigation coordinates. No, but I mean, um, maybe the game is blocking you because you've already have one. I don't think so. This is my new. This is a fresh start. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe you just go to a different system real quick. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna investigate. I'm just gonna go through all these ship upgrades. No, I don't want any of that. You know, I'm going to change my look real quick. I just did that. Okay, hang on, let's see. I like that head. That's a good head. Oh my goodness, why is his head so big? Oh, he's got purdy eyes. I'm warping. I went through the portal to the previous system, so I'll let you know what happens. Okay. This boy's eyes too purdy. Yeah, there we go. Hey, that looks nice. Eh, I don't know, I think it's that. That, that. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. No, 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 no. I look like a football player. <laughs> Red. Hmm. I am acquiring coordinates. Nice. Oh, it worked? Yeah, I guess I am in poor standing with the Viking, but not with the Gek. That's weird. There's, there's dang Gek. Dang Gek, yeah. All right, so I have an emergency broadcast receiver, a single-use receiver that scans for distress signals on freighter frequencies. I am bringing it to you. Love it. Oh, I can change my banner. So I just realized this space station looks like the uh, Planet Express delivery ship. The color scheme. Yeah. Look good. I do, I really appreciate the commitment to like 70s pulp sci-fi yes. book cover color palettes everywhere. Very right. into it. So I'm gonna hop back in my ship and go out of the space station just so that when you come back we can get this done. Yeah. Maybe I'll shoot some asteroids first. If you have the resources to build the uh, uh, projectile weapon on your uh, multi-tool, do that. We can take care of things with just the lasers. Um, 
we'll just have to watch out for. There's ways to like avoid uh, ship security and stuff, um, but I don't know how much damage things can actually do to us. In there. I do not have that, but we'll be okay. All right, I am heading out of the station to tune this receiver. Okay, let me come to you. Emergency broadcast receiver activated. Tuning. All right, I have to activate the pulse drive to begin the tuning process. Okay. Can you guys warp to my icon? Because I am at derelict freighter. Warping now. Same. Oh, I see it. Ooh, what's that stuff on the top? Is that just a landing pad? It is! There are four landing pads. Okay, I see a sentinel. No, that was just a helmet. What's... How do you, how do you turn on... Flashlights again? Uh, um, it may be in the, utilities. in the Got interface. it. Alright, I'm opening it. I'm opening her up. Got it. Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> there are heating units like this one that we can oh. turn on throughout the ship that will help. This is docking bay control. Total lockdown access tonight. <laughs> We're going to restart internal gravity. Calibration error. Uh, restart hazard control. Failure. Got a repair kit and a bunch of ferrite dust. Oh yeah, anything, a blue container is essentially what lets you know that something is interactable. Air okay. lock breach? Yeah, I just opened it. Alright, let's do it. Oh boy. Alright, so be aware, don't, those are scanners obviously you can see ahead of us. Uh -huh. um, don't, don't let them see you. And we can shoot them, but that will alert security bots. And I don't know how strong they are, because I've only done this in creative. Okay. Log snippet. We were doing some sort of research, and there was an anomaly detected, and they were trying to leave. That's good. So we need to avoid that scanner. Okay. So it only goes so far. Oh. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Horrific nest awakens the oh. infestation. Oh, okay. What do we do to not awaken it? It, I, well, it has a gun next to it, so I'm guessing not to. Yeah. Don't shoot it. Oh, do not move while the nest is stirring. Festering pustle. Okay, my thermal protection is at 
I'm just gonna avoid all the loot. Oh, it's stirring. Don't move. Still says stirring. Oh, cool. Okay, I sleep. Sleep. This teleportation terminal is back up. Is there one of those heating things anywhere nearby? There we um, go. I'm I gonna, don't. Gonna, I just turn one. That one right there, yeah. Okay, much better. I can see now. Okay, so there is a door here that I think we have to shoot through. Okay, this guy. This one. There is a records terminal detected. Okay. I got a box of musical wine. Same. <laughs> Rare item. All right, I'm going to shoot this living slime. Go for it. Okay, down we go. to say this is much cooler as a group than it is solo in creative. Oh yeah. Man, I am having a real hard time seeing anything because my visor is icing up. Same. Oh, I think there's a heater over here. Oh. Should I turn on this heating unit right next to the alien? Yeah, I did the same thing upstairs and it was fine. Okay, that's good. We've got another door that's blocked. Let's do it. Okay. So Jake, I'm guessing we're just kind of searching for these items to progress. Uh, yeah, they're not. It's not anything specific. It's all just in these bins that are are around. But uh, uh. I think it said there's like eight or nine rooms that we can unlock, and then we can just take stock of what we have and haven't gotten. Great. God, because I was just not. Or four of ten. It says we've mapped four out of ten zones. If was... we recover the crew manifest or the captain's log or the engineering unit salvage, we can take that back to the scrap dealer for a lot of money. Okay. But we get this ship. Or no? No. No. Oh. The ship is inoperable. That sucks. You're inoperable. I know. Oh. Sorry, I fell a little bit behind in the infestation room to reheat myself. Found it. Fine. It was, uh... I just opened this door. I'm going to go down another ladder. Yeah, Jake, maybe if you could follow us and, and like, check our searches. If we missed anything. Yeah, I'm okay. Now I'm in the same room that y'all are. Secure mainframe detected. Use F. Yeah, that was from a log snippet. Okay. So I think we got to find it and then do it. Oh, yes. Yeah, so the log snippets, you can get... Sorry, I probably should have... I for, totally forgot about the log snippets. You can get items from that that you can use to interact with uh, the terminals, like that terminal that we use to override the front door to get in. Um, and that's where we can get these crew manifest or captain's log or engineering unit salvage because you can get, like, first officer's credentials or something gotcha. and use that to hack a terminal. Um, 
So okay. somebody should be keeping an eye on those. I, a... I haven't noticed any. Shipwide bioscans indicate severe incident status. Override available. Indicate captain's fate to begin. And it gives me unknown, deceased, or incapacitated. But we don't know yet. I mean, I would assume he's dead. Okay, I'll just turn this teleport one on. So there's a bunch of boxes near me, but my inventory's full. Although I guess I could transfer stuff to... My starship. Oh, and, and the teleporters, as one would imagine, will, lock, will send you to other parts of the ship if you've activated the teleporter. But be careful, because if you step into it, it will do it. You don't have to, like, crack it. Yeah. Ooh, there's a door over here. Let me go through. Ooh, I found a big room. Found the engineering control center. Nice. So, okay, so it's telling me fabricate technology, upgrade, fabricate, freighter, bulkhead, extract nanites, or leave. Can I okay, do all of so these? Okay, so I think freighter bulkhead is an item that you can use to upgrade a, a personal freighter, and I believe that that's a very valuable upgrade. Okay, I'm going to uh, grab that thing. But I don't know how many, like, nanites it'll give you. I got it. Apparently there's an armory. Oh, uh, okay. Got some aliens in a jar here. If you just go through the um, the teleport. Yeah. Here. It's, oh, okay. That works too. Ooh, it's agitated. So the point of this is basically we're just kind of scavenging the whole thing and then leaving? Yeah, and you can get like like the freighter bulkheads and stuff. I believe that derelicts are the only places you can get certain kind of high value um, uh, frigate and freighter upgrades. Okay. But yeah, it says that we still, um, there's two rooms we can travel yeah, to. So I have, I have a mainframe access card. Um, so I'm not entirely sure. I'm I'm at a room that says secure mainframe, so this may be that says Captain DNA required to access personal log. Yeah. If you want to come to. Yeah, I so I was at that, and I just it asks you what happened to the captain, and I I didn't know if he was. Mm, maybe still maybe alive. We check for a closed door. Yeah.
I mean, I'm just gonna say deceased. Input accepted, log will record captain's fate as extinguished. Duty officer may take command. I'm gonna log in as Cadet Neko, because that's the credential I have. Credential accepted. Read captain's log. Arrived at the origin point of what they were searching for. Biological entities swarm this world. Many emit hologram from their augmentations. Towers fill the sky. Why do the sentinels allow this? Performed our dissections. A heart is required for the holograms to live on. Part of the brainstem works. These things will be extracted. With this, we can work. Dot, dot, dot. Rare item found. Captain's log. Officially. All right, still says we're missing two rooms. Kyle, where did you, because there's there's a ladder over the direction that I'm pointing. Is that where we came from, or did we come from that's, this That's hallway? where we came from. I believe okay. in, oh, okay. Uh, these... Party time. Oh, that was easy. Oh, I thought they were gonna be way worse. All right, so there's some, some unopened chests around here. Ness has birthed new hostels. projectile ammunition. Yeah, so if you pop your scanner, it may point us in the direction of unopened stuff. Um, doorway opened. Let me see. Let's see if we got anything. See, this is just a uh, little closet over here. Uh, more projectile ammunition. But no guns. Oh, somebody mapped a new area. Where I still see it says 8 of 10. Uh, I've got 9 of 10. I've got 9 of 10. Oh. Where do I go? Was it you, Ian? I think it may have been me. I went in that closet. I was in there already. Did you count it? I, th I feel like we've hit everything. Probably right. Are we missing anything big? I don't think so. What do you think, Jake? Um, yeah, I mean, let's just, I guess let's, let's walk our, retrace our steps and see if we missed a door somewhere. Okay, one second, I gotta... Oh, wait, there's a teleporter. Yeah, you guys retrace your steps. I'm going to teleport back. Okay. Jake, I'm uh, in the next room over. Okay, I went up the ladder. Yeah, that's what I did. Nice. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, you know what? We're probably tracking progress individually because mine shows we got the captain's log, right? Yes. So mine doesn't show that checked. So what what do you have checked? I have engineering unit salvaged. Okay. I have captain's log recovered and I have nine of ten zones mapped. I don't have 
engineering unit salvage, and I don't have crew manifest recovered. Jake, do you have crew manifest? I do not. So I think that's the only thing we're missing. But but I also noticed that each person needs to search every container. Uh, so if you pop the scanner, it will show you what what hasn't been searched yet for you. Because I was finding open containers that I still needed to search. Oh no. What? What? I think my game is crashing. Oh well, no. But you know what? I just got out of my spaceship, so I think I'm saved. I still see you in the, like, your name is still in our menu. Well, uh, I feel like that's the best way possible to end a No Man's Sky stream. <laughs> Well, uh, folks, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, we've had a, a, a nice jaunty time. You know, this has been all about money and I feel like we're rich now. Um, next stream, I'm gonna make a special request. I want a freighter I can call my own. So I'm gonna look up stuff, figure out the easiest way to get that next stream. Next Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, you know, daddy's gonna get himself a freighter. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us uh kyle how you feeling uh, it sounds like this is your first dive into no man's sky since it came out give us your thoughts um i am very much enjoying it there's a lot to take in uh and it's a bit overwhelming if 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 i was playing by myself i think i'd be very overwhelmed but playing with you guys you seem to know what you're doing at least more than i do and uh, i'm having a good time also i think i see that last door that we missed okay um, Jake to your left. To my left? Mm-hmm. Oop, I just Oh, that does a... look like a door, yeah. Jake, how you feeling? Uh, I know you spent plenty of time in No Man's Hour, No Man's Sky. How do you think our playthrough is going so far? Um, I think we're doing I think we're doing well. We haven't made, of course, any progress toward the galactic core, but yeah, like, I... that's uh, something we can build up to once we upgrade our hyperdrive. <laughs> Yes, yes, and I've heard that black holes do a good job of kind of shortcutting you towards it. Yes, though they damage your ship, which means, like, if they damage your hyperdrive, then you have to wait around to repair it and then go. But okay. They do jump you a long way. So maybe we'll leave that for the final stream. We just make a mad dash for the core. We get a bunch of stuff crafted off stream. Um, that's going to do it for us this evening. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. You can find Kyle on Twitter at Kyle of the Beard. And you can find Jake on Twitter at Jake Terrio? <laughs> at underscore Jake Terrio. Underscore Jake Terrio. And you can find Subpixel on Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter at Subpixel Team. You can also find us at subpixelfilms.com. That takes you right to our YouTube channel. The great thing about our YouTube channel, it has stream archives as well as edited videos. Jake, how about you describe the video that came out just yesterday on YouTube? Uh, so yesterday's video was one uh, script I'd had sitting around for a while about best video game intros because mm -hmm. I noticed that tutorials are kind of a rarity nowadays. Now it's just like these long kind of introductory sections. And so I yeah. made a video outlining uh, some ones that were good and why I liked them. It sounds exciting. Um, our next streams tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Time for Kyle Emblem. Kyle, are you ready to play some more Fire Emblem? I am so ready. I'm actually, you know, I, once you get past the first few levels and you start to level up people, it gets way easier. Um, you know, I had a question. Do you play permadeath mode or do you play the, the non-permadeath? So at least for the console ones, um, it's always permadeath. It's just difficulty is the only thing you can change. Ugh, see, I always hated permadeath because I'm not good enough at those games. So <laughs> yeah, I, I I've learned to. I played the. I'm playing the sequel right now, and the game before it, uh, I didn't have anyone die this last playthrough that I did, so I was very happy. But this one, I've already had two people die, and you just learn to live with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, and Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern, we have EverQuest Two on a brand new episode of Server Quest. This is exciting. This is the first sequel to a server quest game. That's right, the very first episode zero pilot of server quest was EverQuest 1. I'm sorry, of server quest was EverQuest 1. Now we're going back to EverQuest 2. Some exciting times, lots of content to look forward to from us. Thank you guys so much for joining. 
Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow night, Thursday night, and for every future stream, as well as for all of our videos, edited or live. We've got so much content. Just go enjoy it. Subpixelfilms.com. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. See ya.